my friends, this is Carol with OCC Land bringing you another unboxing for a boy 10 to 14. Now, the 10 to 14 year olds um, aren't my favorite to pack, but I feel like that they need to be packed also um, because sometimes they're the least amount of boxes that are sent. So I've been concentrating on the two to four, but I think it's time to show some love to the 10 to 14 year olds also. So let's go ahead and remove our 107 rubber band. And in here, you will see You Are Loved, and it's got some Space Jam stickers in here. Now, this isn't a Space Jam themed shoe box. This is just a game shoe box that I put together. It doesn't really have to be any one specific theme, so I kind of threw a whole bunch of things in here together that I thought that a boy this age would enjoy. So, let's go ahead and pull out. I just put a pad of paper in here for him to use. He can draw, he can use it for school, he can do whatever he wants to. And then I put in here a bag for him to carry his things home with. Now this is the only stitch bag that I have and I absolutely love stitch. And I was gonna save this bag for a stitch theme shoe box, but I thought to myself, if anybody's gonna play tricks or games on anybody, it's gonna be stitch. So I thought he needed to go into this box. Next, I put in a pair of shorts, and these pair of shorts actually have the elastic waistband that have the buttons on here, so you can draw them um, up, cinch them up if you have a smaller waist, so they can grow into these. Next, I put his crank flashlight in here. I've actually been saving these crank flashlights for the older kids. Um, I have quite a few, and I actually only found these at one Dollar Tree, and they were actually in a completely different county than what I live in. But I stop at every Dollar Tree that I can come to because they always have different things. So I was lucky enough to find these when they were still only a dollar. So I've been holding on to these. Next, I put in here some flying rubber chickens. I'm sorry, but if you don't think flying rubber chickens are funny, then we need to talk. So I put these in here and I actually put the instructions in here on how to do it also. So I got him some flying chickens. I also put in here a thing of lip balm and this says milk chocolate flavored. It's M&M. I put in here a pencil pouch and in here I have him some colored pencils. I have a pen in here and then I have one of those giant erasers and I put one of these in here. Um, we have someone that gives these out in our community in the surrounding counties and it still says or it says I still love you. I do and then it has the uh, fish on there and it says Jesus in the middle. And then I went ahead and decided, since I didn't put any crayons in this box, I decided to go ahead and put in the colored pencils because a lot of the older kids need colored pencils. So I'm glad Pen and Gear came out with these. Um, they were only 50 cents this year, so I, I tried to buy at least 10 packs every time I went into Walmart. Next, I put him a blue pencil sharpener in here to go with his pencil pouch. And then I put him in here a shirt to go with his shorts. This is from Old Navy. I had a friend that picked this up and donated it for the shoe boxes. I thought it went really well with the pair of shorts. And I also put a ball in here because all boys like to play ball, right? Doesn't matter if it's big, if it's small, it's just to play ball. Next. Oops, that must be from the flying chickens. I'll get rid of that. I put in here, I found this at Dollar, no, Family Dollar. I found this at Family Dollar for a dollar not too long ago. It was sitting all by itself, and I went and I asked them how much it was, and it rang up a dollar. So this is a checkerboard, and the pieces are in this little bag. So he's got a checkerboard with a set of checkers. I also found recently, um, these are from Home Depot or Lowe's. I can't remember which one, but it builds a car. So um, I kept it in the original plastic so that it can all be sent together. And it has actually a tape measure in here also. I don't know if it's, 
it looks like it might only be inches in there but either way he can still use this this will be something fun for him to do the directions are in here the supplies are in here and he's got the stickers that go with it so this will be something for him fun to do I also put a toothbrush in here we have to have some of our essentials along with a comb again another essential I also put in here a box of UNO cards. These are the mini UNO cards that we're finding at Dollar Tree. I can't always find them. I do sometimes. But I was really inspired when someone shared on one of the um, Operation Christmas Child shoebox pages, Facebook pages, that the kids were making their own UNO cards. So I thought this is a perfect gift. It doesn't have to be the pack that costs $6. It can be the pack that costs $1.25. That's perfectly fine. And last but not least, I got him one of these. This is called a tumbling tower game. It's kind of like Jenga, um, a miniature Jenga. But um, I always liked Jenga playing that when I was uh, growing up. And um, if my son will play with me, I'll still play now. But anyway, this is my box for a 10 to 14 year old. And it's kind of in a game theme. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.